In the opening words of this week's portion, portion of Toldot, it opens by saying that these are the generations, these are the offspring of Yitzchak, the son of Abraham. It then goes on to say immediately after that that Abraham gave birth to Yitzchak. In other words, Abraham was the father of Yitzchak. It seems superfluous, it seems redundant. It has already mentioned the fact that Abraham is his father. Why does it repeat it? One of the explanations is that it says that Abraham gave birth to Yitzchak. We know that Abraham at one point was not Abraham, but Avram. And he got the extra letter, hey, from God. So it's saying that prior to his getting that letter, that extra hey, he was unable to give birth. He was unable to have children, so to speak. Uh, but once he had the extra letter, hey, of God's name inside of his name, so he was now able to change his muzzle. His constellation was shifted, and he now had the capacity to have uh, to be a father. The, se the second explanation is why does it say that Abraham gave birth to Isaac? So Rashi explains the fact that there were people in that generation who said that, hang on a second, Abraham, he couldn't be the father because for so many years he was unable to father a child with Sarah. So how did she fall pregnant? She fell pregnant probably from somebody else, perhaps from Avimelech. That was where they had some sort of a sojourn during their, during their travels. And so it says that Avraham gave birth to Yitzchak, or was the father of Yitzchak, in order to put pay to any kind of rumor, any kind of uh, dissent which might be existing. And G Rashi goes on to say that God specially made that Yitzchak looked very similar to Avraham, and that there would be no question as to who the father was. Therefore, it comes to emphasize Avraham gave birth to Yitzchak and nobody else. The third explanation is slightly deeper. It refers to the fact that Yitzchak represents emotion because Yitzchak means laughter, uh, something which emanates from the heart, from the emotion. And what it's teaching us is that Avram, who refers to the concept of intellect, as our sages explain that Av, which means father, refers to Chachma, and Ram, which means to be exalted, to be transcendent, also refers to the capacity for intellect. So intellect... Avram, Holid, et Yitzchak gave birth to emotion and not the other way around whereby often our emotions are that which, is, which are guiding us through our impulses and our momentary drives that are uh, fluctuating, erratic, inconsistent and it's rather that one should seek the dependability of intellect which is guided by higher truths, by something which is more objective and it is more transparent, not so self-orientated, uh, and uh, therefore one should be guided by intellect, and that's what it means. Avram Holedet Yitzchak, intellect gave birth to emotion, and not the other way around.